Today's topic of the day is how to start programming. I know there is a lot, a lot of resources out there, but I feel like they're giving you way too much of uh, different examples, but not enough of explanation. So I'll be doing things a little bit differently today. I'll be giving you out very, very basic information that you do require in order to go into programming. So I'll be talking about like uh, computer specs. I'll be talking about what language you should go with. Uh, I'll be talking about uh, what are the online resources out there that will have a very, very similar curricular schedule that a lot of us went through. And uh, how do you even code? I mean, like, uh, do you open a Word document? Let's find out. If you're new to the channel, I'm DevPool. And my whole purpose is to navigate beginners and juniors into the right direction in the tech industry through my experience. And uh, if you're not uh, subscribed yet, consider doing so, because I'll be talking about software development, uh, how to be a job competitive, and how to be successful in the tech uh, industry and how you can keep on uh, progressing. Let's start from the very basics. The minimum specs for you to have is 8 gigs of RAM, 250 SSD card, and an Intel 5 or i5. Those are the minimum, minimum specs your machine needs to have. And the reason to that is because as you're going to be coding, as you're going to be working on your application, on your skills, you'll find that whenever you compile something, you run, you'll notice that it takes up a lot of time for you to run something because all of your resources for now will be allocated into specific applications that you'll be running at the same time. And you want to be proficient with your time. You don't want to waste it on a different little things that your computer does. So overall, what comes down to is saving time on development. Oh, and one more thing to point out is try to keep your OS up to date. So we just went through our checklist and let's say you're thinking about getting a new computer or you were already thinking about getting a new computer and uh, you're not sure what to get, Windows or Apple. Well, ask yourself a question, what do you want to uh, work on type of a project? Do you want to make uh, mobile applications for Apple or do you want to just uh, work on different websites and why not? Well. If you're to buy a Windows machine and you want to make uh, Apple products, unfortunately on Windows you won't be able to do that because Apple has its own specific uh, environment that you have to code in, called the Xcode. And uh, as Windows users, we can't just download it and uh, make any Apple products. So you want to keep that in mind. If you want to make uh, applications for Apple, you need an Apple machine. Okay, now we know what type of computer we want. Now let's uh, talk about languages. As uh, developers, when we went to school, the first language we had to start with either was C, Java, or Python. And simply because it taught us fundamentals of programming and the theory of programming that fortunately we can take it to any other language that we want. So even if we've been taught, let's say, C++ uh, throughout our career, or throughout our education, but now let's say I just want to be learning a different language. Well, it's not going to be a, a difficult thing for me. So that's why I, I would recommend for you guys to take a look at uh, C. That is something I started off with, to be honest. Um, and I did learn Java, I did learn uh, Python. But C I find a little bit more easier to read, I guess. And uh, whenever you'll be learning, I mean, you'll be learning basics of it. And what I mean, what I mean by basics is we all learned how to walk, but now it's time to learn how to code. Once we have chosen our language, now we gotta choose an online tool that will help us to guide throughout our C learning process. So we're not gonna get lost. And uh, it teaches us fundamentals and tooling as well. Uh, the one I will recommend is Coursera. Uh, I have uh, a link down in the description so you guys can go ahead and check it out right now or at the end of this video. I like that website because it's been taught by uh, professors that are currently in school. They do have a specific already guideline to follow and uh, they're right on topic. So first we have talked about uh, our specs, we have talked about the language, we have talked about uh, what online tools we're going to be using for, to guide us to learn. But now where we're going to be coding? 
we'll be using IDEs, Integrated Development Environment. And uh, what it is essentially is just uh, a tool, an app you download where you can write your code and it will give you a result. That's what, what essentially comes down to. If you have chosen C, uh, I would recommend for you guys to use uh, Visual Studio. It's an amazing tool. I mean, at first, once you download it, you'll be like, what's this? What's that? And what I mean by that is, at the top uh, side you bar, you will see so many buttons, you have no idea what they mean. On the side, you'll see other things, you have no idea what that means. Now, and also the bottom, you'll have no idea what that means. Don't panic. It, it's all actually to, a lot simpler than it looks. Well, first, yeah, of course, all those tools are there to help you to code. But the main things for you to know actually is once you have created a new file in there, and actually guys, if you want me to create a different video on how to get started, uh, let me know in the comment below. Uh, so I can know that you guys uh, want me to give you uh, guidance on uh, how to get started, how to create your first Hello World application. But yeah, uh, I don't, I didn't want to guys overwhelm you, but overall that's what we actually needed for get started to code is uh, those basics. But now question time. What are the specs of your current computer? What do you choose as your first coding language? I would love to hear your comments. So don't forget to leave a comment down below. I'm DevPool. Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.